Okay, uh, this one's gonna be a little bit of a tech tip for you. Um, got a Glock pistol here with a modified trigger. Uh, obviously a lot on this gun's been modified, but it's showing a pretty common uh, trigger issue that you get where you pull the trigger, rack the slide, and the trigger is still dead. Rack the slide a second time, and now the trigger comes back to life. Pull the trigger, trigger stays back, nothing. Now the trigger's up again, okay? So we'll go over, and it does it almost every time. We'll go over, if I trap the trigger, then, it, then it'll reset. But if I don't trap it, then it's not getting picked up. So let's talk about why it's doing that. <clears throat> We've got the cruise form here, all right? And then when the trigger is back to the rear, what's supposed to happen is the there's a lobe on your slide right here okay that lobe pushes the connector over and when the connector pushes over the trigger bar should pop up and this one is not um this becomes a fairly common issue okay all right so let's see if i can get a little bit better on camera here for you and it's also gonna use my punch on here okay so when you when that lobe pushes over on the connector right there okay the trigger bar should just pop up and it's not doing that so that's our issue and we will go over what that issue is i'm gonna do a couple little tweaks on here real quick and then i'll show you what's going on okay got some little adjustments made got our same pistol that was having our trigger issues before all right got a live live trigger in there pull the trigger Crack the slide. Live trigger. Okay. Every time. Doesn't matter if we trap. Don't trap. Okay. Alright, so let's talk about why it's doing that. <clears throat> okay. Going back to our cruise form here. <laughs> We talked about the uh, the lug on the slide that pushes the connector over, right, right here. Okay, now let's see if I can get a better angle on it for you here. This camera tries to make everything blurry, but anyways. Okay, when we push this over, we've got first form pops back up, right? Push it down, push it over. Chris form pops right back up. See that? Okay, you can hear it clicking. Pops right back up. The issue that we were having is... Let me get you to focus a little bit here. Maybe. Okay, on the trigger bar right here, and I'll put some pictures of this up, but right here on the frame... Right where the trigger bar here is contacting the frame here. When the trigger is all the way back to the rear, the trigger bar is actually contacting the frame and dragging on the frame. Okay? So when you're putting finger pressure on this, the pressure that you're putting on the, on the trigger pad is imparting a little bit of upward pressure on the trigger bar. That's why when you trap the trigger, it springs up like it should. Um, when you do not trap the trigger, though, you're not applying that additional upward pressure and so what happens is the trigger bar uh, rubs on the rubs on the frame right here, and then it doesn't want to go up all the way. It doesn't want to jump up the way that it should when it's released by the connector. Okay, so again, push over, boom, pops right back up. All right now, you might be asking, okay, why does that happen? Um, when you go start changing out trigger shoes and everything like that. Um, these companies are changing the geometry on the trigger bar in an effort to produce a nicer trigger, a softer trigger, a lighter trigger, whatever you want to call it. Um, so they're messing with that geometry on this trigger bar. When they mess with that geometry, what can happen is you've got, you're working with a trigger bar that moves, that moves front to back. Okay. So if they've changed that geometry so that the bar is starting further back than it was originally, the chances of it contacting the frame here are going to increase. You also have to figure that we're working with polymer frames here that have a certain amount of variation in tolerance. 
Um, you're working with a third party company making a trigger bar that's got variation in tolerance. You got variation in tolerance in the trigger bar itself. So you got three different pieces with variation in tolerance. So sometimes you get that tolerant stacking that's working against you and it causes you an issue like that. All right. So if you've got that happening to you where you're pulling the trigger, rack the slide, and then that trigger comes back dead, um, that's the first place I would look right there is to see if you've got any drag going on right there. So, um, Stay tuned for more tech tips.